Kanisha Lachey here. So in today's video, I am showing you guys my updated everyday brow routine. Um, excuse my face, I don't have on any makeup because I really wanted this focus to be about brows and brows only. So my brows have went through a, di a bunch of different phases of my life. I had really skinny brows, I had really thick brows, I had some fleek brows, I had some not so fleek brows. some really drawn in brows y'all my brows been through it I'm pretty sure all our brows been through it actually but now I'm really satisfied with my brows not this one so much but this one I love this one okay this one a little thicker but it's okay so yeah I love my brows now I like the way that I do them now um, I feel like they look really natural they don't look overly filled in they do however is defined I like more of a defined brow I really don't like a fluffy brow or anything like that that's not me I like more of a or a feathery brow i guess they call it i don't know but i like more of a defined brow okay so i just kind of want to go over some of the products that i use some of the products i cannot live without and yes so first things first concealer i only use one concealer now to highlight underneath my brow at first i used to like mix two or three different concealers just to get a shade and i was like i don't have time for all of that just because like as you get older you don't have time to you know do as much as you did when you were younger at least i don't if i can find products that i can use like that's super versatile then i would use the concealer that i use is the laura mercier it's the flawless fusion ultra long wear concealer i use the shade 49 now this color is a little bit lighter than my skin tone it's about one shade lighter than my skin tone this one is okay and look how much concealer is in here so this will last me a really long time plus I don't use a lot of concealer anymore. I used to use so much concealer, like a ridiculous amount of concealer. And now I'm like, less is more. <laughs> At first I'm like, girl, no, more is more. <laughs> no, but seriously. Now I just don't use as much concealer just because I just feel like that's just a waste of product. Now if I'm putting my concealer all over my eye, then yes, that's something different. But if it's just for my brows and my brows only, no, half of the time I don't need all that concealer. So the next thing that I use, this brush is from BH Cosmetics. It's like a square, short, really stiff brush. And I like this brush just because this brush really helps to give you like that really nice defined under, under concealer brow line i guess and it drags down and it's just amazing at first i used to use an angle brush and so i tried this brush and i'm like obsessed with this brush it's like my favorite brush ever for my brows like i just always have to have it and this is the brush that i use to do my cut creases the next thing brow gel clear brow gel I always still use this um i've been using this particular brow gel for years this is the anastasia Beverly hills clear brow gel this is just one i love i honestly haven't found another brow gel that i actually like another brush that i use is this one sometimes i use my fingers or sometimes i use my brush today i use my brush i just kind of showed you guys how the brush works so but this brush isn't i don't think it's available but really any brush will work any a dual fiber brush just kind of like this will work and then uh, finally for the actual brow product i love pencils these are my go-to things i always gravitate towards pencils because they are quick I get my brow how I like it and it also comes with the spoolie on the end so I can just fill it in, brush it out, and be done. So that's basically how I do my brows. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up, share this video, and also subscribe to my channel and follow me on all my social networks. So Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook. Girl, you better go follow me, honey. Until next time, I'll see you guys in my next upload. <laughs> Bye. So I'm going to go in with my Anastasia. Um, brow Wisp Pencil. This has been one of my all-time favorite pencils to use just because it's super easy to use and you get the hair-like strokes. Um, another good one that I like to recommend would be the Benefit uh, Precisely My Brow Pencil. That one is bomb. That one is amazing. Super pigmented. You don't have to really force the pencil. The pigment is there so I would say that one's a good one too. Um, those are more on the high end side. If you want something on the low end side, I would say the NYX Micro Pencil. I believe that's what it's called. That one's good. And then I also got one from Maybelline. 
that I like to. So first things first, I always just kind of brush my brow hairs into place and just kind of see like the shape and draw a line underneath. And right here, since uh, she kind of went a little higher, what I usually do is just kind of extend it a little bit further down underneath to kind of make it more of a straight line opposed to just going straight up. This way it'll make my brow a little fuller looking. So then when I do that, I kind of turn my head this way so I can really see my arch. And instead of going straight down, I kind of go at a diagonal and go out. And then just lightly fill in towards the front. Okay, so what, once that's done like that, I go ahead and move over to the other eye. Because I like to do my bottoms first and then I go on top. So then, once that's done, I go ahead and lightly fill in between the brow hairs, just lightly, and then I fill the top part of my brow in. So right up in this part, I'm going to just fill that in. Another pencil that I really like to use is the Brow Definer from Anastasia, just because it's a lot more product. So you're not wasting your brow width trying to fill in your entire brow. So again, same way, I'm just kind of going underneath the brow. Like that. And it's two different ways that I usually do it. So I would either fix it like this. And this is if I just want a really, really natural brow. And then I would just drag it the concealer down and I love doing my brows like this too like I feel like this is such a beautiful look for brows because it looks natural but your brows still look really nice and grown and then I just kind of like blend all that concealer away and then I will add like some brow gel. Of course I'm going to use my Anastasia. This is one of my favorite brow gels. And you see how beautiful that brow is? So I don't like taking my concealer all the way up here anymore just because I feel like then that way it starts to look really overly done. But that's just my opinion. Um, I do sometimes still go on top but it's with my same uh, foundation shade. And I usually do that only when I'm going out when I want my brows to look like popping, popping, popping. There you go, you guys. That's pretty much how I do my brows like every day. <laughs> and then let me add my brow gel. I feel like concealer make a huge difference though. So if you don't use concealer, I would highly recommend doing concealer. At least just like halfway underneath the brow. And you can get away with just doing like the pencil. But I'm, I don't know, I'm just really addicted to concealer. I just like the way it looks. So yes, you guys. That's pretty much my brow routine for everyday brow.